So I just want to clarify my method of doing dimensional analysis. Now, uh, as you've seen in the pr all the previous videos, we have a bunch of things that end up canceling out, and it's a bunch of ratios set up, uh, all multiplied by each other. And right now, um, everything we've encountered has a, a one and then some other number. And it may seem like a waste of time to just plug that one in every time we go to do, um, uh, we do a calculation, but as you'll see, in, when we get to stoichiometry, it, it's really good to go ahead and get in the habit of doing it this way. Because then when you have numbers that aren't one, you've, are, you're already in the habit of plugging it in a certain way. And what I want to do with this video is explain explicitly what I mean by when I, uh, about my way of plugging it in. So all of these letters can be anything. And these ones don't necessarily have to be ones. They could be anything as well. I just made them one because it doesn't really matter. So after you've set up your dimensional analysis, um, you've written all this out on your paper, and you've checked to make sure, OK, meters cancels with meters, centimeters, inches, so on. Uh, and you get to what you want to get to. Obviously, we're converting meters a second to miles an hour. And then you convert your bottom one, seconds, seconds, minutes, minutes, hours, now we're in hours. Then what I mean, what exactly what we're doing when we, when I type in the, what I typed into the keys, into the calculator, is I, I start here. So I'm going to say, why don't we start here? And then you type this in. So I would, I would type in to the calculator A. Whatever that is, that could be, you know, 500, and I would just type in 500. I'm just going to put A. So that's whatever your first number is. And then we're going to keep going down, and we go through this. Uh, it's a division sign, right? Because a ratio, if you have 1 half, that's the same as 1 divided by 2. Or 3 fourths is 1 divided by 4. So you hit the divide key. As you go through that, you hit divide. And then you come back up. So this is step one. You type that in. Step two, step two, as you go through that, you type that in. Now step three is you put in whatever that is. That happens to be one in this case. So I'm going to hit the one key. That's my third step. And now my fourth step is to go from the bottom back up to the top. That's step four. And going up through there, we go through a multiplication key, or through a multiplication sign. And so we're going to hit the multiplication key. And that's step four. And then we simply repeat. So step one would be what's right up here, and that's B. So whatever B is, let's you know, if it's 502, you would hit 502. So we'll just say whatever B is, all the keys that you need to hit B. And then it's the same thing. Then you just repeat step two, which is going down. We go through the division sign. So we hit divide. And then you hit whatever's down here. It happens to be one. And it could be something more complicated. If it were another number, you would just type that in. So then you would hit 1. And then you're going to go to step. So that was step 3. We went 1, 2 through there, and then 3 on the bottom. And now finally, fourth step, we go back through with multiplication. So it may seem like a lot of work, especially when there's a lot of 1s here. And you could see, well, I can make this really easy. I could just hit A times B times F times G, and then write that down. And then just do C times D times E, write that down, and then divide the two. Now, you could do that, but you run the risk of, of rounding error. Uh, you run the risk of just plugging in the wrong thing into your calculator. And this way, if, once you get it down, it's really fast. And finally, the, the reason I like this the most is because when we do stoichiometry, 
it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. You get to see how everything's laid out, and you, know, you get to ensure that everything, that you're converting everything the way you want to convert it. And it's just one simple calculation. And with calculators, the more, the, the diff, if you, if you do multiple calculations, you run the risk of rounding error, and you don't get the, you might not get the right answer out of it. And of course, if you have one of those teachers who counts you off for, uh, you know, rounding errors, then, you know, that's not good. So, uh, I think I've beat this into the ground, uh, and you'll see why when we do stoichiometry. I just can't stress this method enough. I, I want to. I know I just said I beat it into the ground, but I'm going to go ahead and beat it a little bit more. So let's say we wanted to do all of this right into the calculator. The, I would just type in a divide one times b, whatever that is, divide one times one divide c, so on, so forth. And once you get all of that there, you go g divide one, then you hit the equal sign. And then whatever that spits out, that's your final answer. And conveniently, since this is all multiplication and division, then uh, the, the, rules for, uh, the, the rules for significant figures with uh, multiplication and division are really simple. You just find whichever one of these has the least amount of significant digits, and that's the number of significant figures your your final answer has to have. So I'm gonna I'm done with dimensional analysis. Um, <laughs> I, I hope there were enough examples for everybody. Um, uh, yeah, that, that's all I could think of. So uh, stay tuned for more fun stuff. We'll finally get the fun. We're getting the fun stuff soon. And yeah, just hold on.